Jane here, back in another video. Today we're doing cooking with me. Now, if you guys need the channel, you should smash like one down below. Subscribe to me, and I'll have the Boomer Squad. Okay, y'all. So, we are going to make a mac and cheese. And, uh, um, so I'm going to get the pot. Technical difficulties. Okay, guys. So I got this pot, and I just need to fill it with water now. So I'm gonna be doing that. So now I have the pot full of water. So I always put this in the inside. Okay. So now that I have that like that, I want to put it on medium. Medium. And you just want to wait for it to start bubbling a lot. Okay, guys, sorry. Let me right back. Okay, guys, so uh, you actually don't want to put it on medium. You want to put it on medium high. If you want it to cook faster. If, yeah, if you want it to cook faster, put it on medium high, okay? And I'll see you at the next step. Okay, guys, so the next step is to actually unbox the mac and cheese and start kneading the cheese like this. Um, once this, once this, uh, it does have uh, water in it, and it is boiling, but once it starts to bubble, or like a lot, I'll show you, I'll show you, like, when you want it, you actually, like, put the noodles in, you just, um, uh, that will be at the next step, so while you're, you're waiting for this, you don't want to need this, okay? That's just, that's it. Okay, guys. So, as soon as that's done, uh, you want to add salt to the water. Not that much. Just okay. It doesn't matter how much salt I ha you have. Don't, don't overload it, though. Your noodles. And then you just want to mix it. Mix it easy because you don't want to spill it like I was just dieted. How many bars did you draw? I wanted to get some coffee, but I ended up not getting it. Okay, guys. After you've done that, you just want to let it sit and then give it like five minutes. And then you could, uh, well, actually give it like eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. And then we'll be all set. Uh, no, well, and then we'll be. Almost done. Okay, so you can start mixing it after a little bit. 
Let's start mixing again. And if you want, you can ask Echo to set a timer for eight minutes. And then you can try the noodle. Put the cheese in, mix it up. And you, know, you always want to actually, you do always want to hold on to the handle. So as soon as this is done, as soon as, as soon as eight minute timer is done, you just oh, I'll just step in with you. Make sure always remember need the cheese for just a little bit more. See, it's starting to boil. It's starting to spice up. Yeah, it doesn't need to be I well, I did eyes to salt. That's just this all I use. But if you want, you can use this kind of pepper, which is just pure honey, or you can use this pepper, which is a very fresh. But this pepper is the actual pepper I'm going to use. So? Oh, frick, it's turned to foam. Blow. It's easy. And if it foams, you just want to blow it. Turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, so. I mean, it's up too high. Turn it down on medium. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, if it's turned to foam, low on it. I'm actually turning it on medium low. No, oh, let's just keep it on medium. But if it starts to foam like this, just lightly blow on it. Don't blow on it like. No, just do. And if you're wondering who I'm serving this to, it is my family. So, if you just want to try the noodle, you just, you grab one, you, like, uh, do this, you take it all the water out, you blow on it, and then, it's not done, it's not done. I don't. It's not close to being done. It's not actually. I mean, it's, it's almost there. But, guys, if you want, you can mix it around a little bit more. And as you guys can see. Oh, yeah. Um, a video is coming out right after this. Um, hang out when your ears pierced. So, yeah. It was an experience. You guys can look up my reaction. Alright, just boil on it. You don't have to use this cheese. I mean, mac and cheese. I like it. You can use Kraft. You can use anything like that. And you just use these ingredients. Or these steps uh, and ingredients. Yeah. New cookie mac and cheese. Alexa, timer on mac and cheese. Timer for how long? How long left on timer? You have two minutes and 30 seconds left on your eight minute timer. Oh, I just tried the noodles, they aren't ready. Of course not. Hey, be easy pushing against this though. Okay, okay. So, I'll see you on the next step. Okay, guys. So, when you're done, you want to use an air fryer. I'm just using the fry basket because it's strainer. Well, strainer. But you can also use fries in it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you, well, after this is done, after your timer goes off, um, you pour this into the strainer and you do it and you pour it above a sink. Uh, 
so I'll see you when my timer goes off. Okay, guys. So my timer just went off. Uh, I'll see you guys actually when I'm done straining it. So yeah. Okay, guys. So don't put it on this iron because it's heating off. So guys, you actually want to add butter. At least a tablespoon of butter. And um, then you just put it in there. You mix it up with this little spoon. You want to mix it up. Yeah, I thought it was you for that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, after you're done mixing this up, uh, you put the cheese that you are kneading, and um, this needs to dissolve first, so when this is actually done dissolving, which I think it just got done dissolving, you actually want to add your cheese with your scissors. I'm using si kitchen scissors. So guys, here we go. My, my brother was doing sport. Don't choke like me. On what, Pepper? Is that your choke on Pepper? <laughs> What's that? Don't choke on your spit um, like me. So after you're done eating your cheese, well, not eating, well, pouring in your cheese, you want to throw it away, start mixing up. Yeah, yeah, that should be a bunch. That should be a good amount of time to sit it back on the iron. Okay, guys. So when you're done doing that, you want to put your spoon in the sink. You want to add your salt. Cheese with me. Bye.